Defending Utah covers the stories others are just too often afraid to touch. They don't nibble around the edges when it comes to pointing out threats to our liberty. They're not afraid to name names and call out organizations. This is Defending Utah Radio. Every Friday morning at 9 on KTOC 1640. Defending Utah. Think right and wrong, not right and left. Join Defending Utah, because if you're not already on a government watch list, you should be. That is right. You should be. You should be. You're not having fun unless you're on a government watch list. And uh, and probably the next uh, couple of minutes, you, you you're just, just going to be on one anyway. You're so, just gonna, I mean, what's the big deal? If you're listening to K-Duck, you know. Yeah. Might as well. Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ben McClintock with my co-host, Mike Turner. It's true. And we are from DefendingUtah.org, where we think right and wrong, not right and left. Make we sure... are two men from the internet. We are two men. <laughs> <laughs> Neither one of us is bald, and we're both questionably fat, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> with a comb over? With a comb over. I can hear your comb over With my the giant radio. comb over. Somebody was watching one of our YouTube videos, and they said, nice comb over, Ben. And I was like, yeah. hey, it's not a comb over. No, comb over. No, comb over. It's a... It's a, a hair flop. <laughs> <laughs> For my feelings. But uh, we we uh, want to encourage you to make sure and download the Defending Utah app to your Android device. Make sure you never miss uh, one of those again. Also, check out the uh, United Nations, utah.com, and uh, help our efforts there. But um, we got, we got, some, we got some, uh, two pretty big local news stories going down. Um, we've got uh, North Korea-style Big Brother government program being promoted by the Attorney General that everybody thinks is just so conservative, Sean Reyes. Um, and then we've got this other news story where um, a legislator that uh, Scott Bradley, constitutional scholar, said was the most dangerous legislator in the country resigned. His name, that is Conivery from West Jordan. Mm-hmm. And uh, I thought that was, you know, I'm always cautiously optimistic when you hear about these things these these people that are very dangerous where they're promoting anti-constitutional things they yeah. they threaten people at the capitol that are talking about the constitution and nullification while at the same time they promote themselves as being these uh, great prom- lovers of liberty and the um, guy is literally a psychopath <laughs> And his because bills, he just his, boldface lies all the time. All the time. That's a, that's a trait of a psychopath. His uh, his bills that pretend to get local control, actually of of public lands, actually increase federal control, give them more money, and actually um, promote United Nations Agenda Twenty One. And so when we heard that he was um, uh, resigned from his position there, um, we were pretty excited. But then there were some um, other things that kind of gave us a little bit of concern, um, which is where he's going. <laughs> but because um, nothing this man does is good, <laughs> you can you can bet your there's two things you can bet your bottom dollar on: the sun will rise, and Ken Ivory is a piece of garbage. And and he lost his popularity. I, and I, and I'm going to say this: this is in large part because of the efforts of defending Utah, because um, the false opposition that he got from the left. Is is what he was expecting, and it's what he always wanted to kind of turn it around to. He would always accuse us of being funded by George Soros, uh, because that's when you have no argument against but, what we were saying. His bill said, but we do have jetpacks, and they George Soros funded the research and <laughs> development for those and gave them to us. Of course, but besides so, that, I mean, besides besides Ken being jetpacks. right on one thing about us having jetpacks <laughs> from George Soros. Other than that, I'm sorry. Carry on. Carry on. It's it's the it's yeah. the tactic of somebody that has no argument. Yeah. They're like, we say your bill says X, Y, and Z, and here are the lines that it says it. Yeah, well, you suck. <laughs> that's basically <laughs> that's literally what his response was. Yeah, and so, um, but it, it our our articles and our reports uh, here on the on K Talk became viral, and he really started to be um, opposed in those in those areas because he had no defense for what he was doing. And so he kind of scaled back and went away from the lands issues, gave that to somebody else. And he said, you know, well, what's an issue that um, nobody can be against? Oh, I, I know I'm going to help survivors of sex abuse and I'm going to do those kind of bills instead, because if, if they do that, if they yell at me about that, that'll just look crazy. And so he kind of went in that direction. 
Um, and then we yelled at him for that. <laughs> I don't know, did we? No, I don't think we did. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, yeah, we'll show you. We'll up the craziness. <laughs> <laughs> but what was? But because of the we'll efforts, crazy, you're crazy. I mean, the legislature's always being attacked, but because we had substantive attacks from a conservative angle, and the legislature's trying to pretend to be conservative, um, Ken Ivory, in the middle of the legislative session, was removed from his chairmanship of of um, one of the uh, legislative committees. And so um, that was a big deal. That was a big blow to him and his ego. Also, what was pretty crazy um, was during... Uh, a legislative committee hearing, uh, Mike Noel, who was his, his basically his right hand man in the destruction of local control of land, um, actually told Ken Ivory to sit down and shut up. Basically, he's like, "We've heard that speech before," and Ken was so had his feelings hurt so badly, he just stormed out of the committee room and and had to cool off, I guess. And so, I guess a bunch of people probably liked Mike a little more from that. So that was good for him. That was, eh, I mean, I, I don't. That was kind of an inside thing where nobody even follows it. That oh really? Yeah. And so I mean that that well, because it was all of the mainstream media meeting. coverage of this was about how Ken Ivory is the staunch conservative that was trying to get the lands under local control. The mainstream media was focusing on trying to to continue his fake conservative legacy. None of them yeah. focused on the things that were happening behind the scenes. And so um, when uh, when he resigned, the Tribune actually was able to find out um, where he got his um, his new job, and they did an article on it. And I, I said earlier um, that the Tribune's a pile of garbage, and they can't be trusted. And so I, what I wanted to do was um, – so Ken Ivory on his uh, Facebook wall went through the claims of the Tribune. He said, list the, the claim of the Tribune and then his response to it. And so a lot of times when you got two big, fat, hairy liars saying two different things, there's probably a third thing. So I haven't gone through this, but I think it would be fun for us to give both both their positions so that we were fair and then maybe make a comment saying, Wait, are you sure there are two different positions? Well, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> and so I thought that would be kind of fun to, to kind of go through and uh, and and show what uh, what's really going on. Maybe we can find some things uh, behind the, the scenes. So first of all, he's working for a... A Silicon Slopes company. So now, if you don't know, Silicon Slopes is this area. This what they're trying to do is the uh, the Silicon Valley of Utah, yeah, on the south side of the point of the mountain, and it's a Salt Lake Chamber of Commerce program to make Utah County more like Salt Lake County, um, whose efforts are to be more like so, uh, California. So. Um, Silicon Which, Slopes, right at yeah. the top, working for that organization means you're part of the program to make Utah more like California. Well, I think they want to do, I mean, there's that, yeah. But I think they, one of the major reasons why they want to have Silicon Slopes is because of the NSA Bluffdale Data Center. On the other side of the highway. Because basically they want to have uh, a location proximity to um, another uh government installation so promoting of, of that magnitude promoting the total government which leads us to yeah. the next segment that we'll be doing later on yeah. about the total uh, police state that big brother will be having in, in the yeah. state of utah this, the bluffdale data center and silicon slopes they were designed at the same time and they were their goals to happen yep so the tribune's comment was a silicon slopes company that uh, ivory helped hire for a special legislative project to appraise utah's public lands and so then Ken says that reading the actual article and not just a salacious headline and lead paragraph, it is clear that uh, the state followed its procurement process to the letter. I had no role in the approval of their contract and the effort to determine the fair value of federal lands. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, I'm I'm just kind of going. It, sorry, I had to scroll through. Sorry, we were expect we were ex- expecting this to be a little more less boring. Well, this is well, and it's on an image, <laughs> and so it's I've got to flow through, and it's not in, or, in a number order. Um, that he had no role in this, and but so okay, so he says I had no role in this. So this company got money from the state, and they were part of deciding how much the state, the federal public lands, is worth. Is what he, is what they're claiming. And so because he's that that's his issue, they're saying that there's a conflict of interest there. So it seems like, okay, the Tribune's making a dumb argument for, on their side. And then instead of, like, 
of course, Ken Ivory saying, you know, he wasn't a part of that process, which is true, but at the same time, that shouldn't even be part of the process. It doesn't matter what the value of the land is. It's ours. The feds have no... It's 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 changing the argument to not be about what it's supposed to be about. Instead of focusing on, hey, the feds have no authority to have this, they're focused on, was this done... Was, was, was this yeah. evaluation done legally? It's irrelevant. Yeah. It's, it's like the whole... I hate that people are like, well, we just want to have... It's- we just want to have a conversation. Right. I'm like, yeah, my conversation is everything you're doing is illegal. Like, and I'm done talking about it. If the UN comes in, you know, the UN says they want to kill 350,000 people a day. Well, let's just talk about how we're going to do about that. It. Are we going to, like, are we just going to have a couple of snipers on buildings <laughs> and they just indiscriminately kill people? Or maybe or, there'll be, like, trap mines in the sidewalk. Or maybe uh, there'll be a big map of, like, a neighborhood, and we'll just have somebody throw a dart at it, and then that's the <laughs> one that we predator drone. I mean, how how are we going to do this? I mean, this is like the... Right. Yeah, this is like... this is what. Well, instead of talking about, well, how are we going to stop this, <laughs> we're going to talk about what's the best way to do right. this. That's what they always want to do. And did do. I follow the process properly? Yeah. Did I follow the process of murdering people properly? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> just like those... Uh, those carbon tax buttholes. And I'm like, this isn't legal. I'm like, well, we're not lawyers. And then they start talking about their legislation. I'm like, okay, well, we should be done talking about this, right? And your argument <laughs> about it, is it legal is I can't talk about that. This is ridiculous. Yeah. We just, we just got to have the conversation. Of like, course. No. If you ever hear that, you know that whatever's coming out of their mouth next is bullcrap. <laughs> And dangerous. And dangerous. That's, so, just, that's just like when you listen to somebody and the first thing you do is list their millions of credentials. That means they want you to evaluate their argument on who they are. That means they don't want you to evaluate than, their argument. They want you yeah, to. <laughs> rather than the merit of their argument. Yep. And so you could just go, well, if that's what they want me to think, then the chance of anything coming out of their mouth not being complete bullcrap is basically zero. I'm sorry, I'm on like a tangent. I just get mad at this crap. Well, it's 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 absolutely insane. It's meant yeah. to distract us from the actual argument. It's a yeah. it's a it's a common tactic, and too many of us fall for it every single time. Let's go to the phone lines eight zero one two five four sixteen forty. Uh, you're on uh, defending Utah Radio with Ben and Micah. I found out that William Penn. You know, I don't know if it was in his Charter of Liberties, which is amazing. That um, he made a statement, I only have part of the statement, but he said, obedience without liberty is slavery. Mm-hmm. Now, this guy, he, you know, he, he, this person is very, very deep. I, I mean, to think about that, obedience without liberty is slavery. And, and, and just a little side note, I did talk to Eagle off, off the air, and so I will make a half an apology and I guess he was trying to make a joke about the architecture of the building. I missed it. Did, did you guys understand that he was trying no, to make a joke? No, he was not trying to make a joke. That's that's just a bold faced lie, Eagle. I mean, you call in all the time, saying how like the head of evil is basically the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, and then you just go well, look at the building because it's white and it has a globe on it. I guess clearly, you and yeah, I, I just this is ridiculous. But hey, thanks so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so anyway, you know about your, your next subject is Big Brother, and you right now you're talking about United Nations. And we're going to a break. Sorry, I've got to cut you off, Ray. Um, appreciate it. Uh, more when we get back from the break, right here on K Talk AM sixteen forty. Bureaucrats, tyrannical government, defending Utah knows how to fix that. It's called nullification. To find out more, stop by our office and pick up your pamphlet on nullification today. DefendingUtah.org. Think right and wrong, not right and left. This Defending Utah presentation brought to you in part by Anderson Accounting. AndersonAccounting.com. Trust Plumbing. 801-808-5470. Higher Calling Firearms. HigherCallingFirearms.com, Pioneer Family Scholars, Black Lotus Web Dev, BlackLotusWebDev.com, American Appliance at 801-254-2566, Chem Financial Services, 801-856-6151, and the Law Offices of Garrett T. Smith, 801-477-1570, and the Water of Champions at ChampionsNeverQuit.org. 
It's a fact. More photos of you are being taken than ever before. Are you ashamed of your smile? At last, a new technology that gives a brighter and healthier smile in under two hours. And it's fully warranted, so you'll never have to worry about your smile again. Call Dr. Jeremy Thompson at Thompson Dental, 801 801- 254-0835 or visit gonewsmile.com and we'll show you how you can restore your faded, yellowed, or worn teeth without surgery, crowns, or implants. And it's backed by a 30-day, 100% satisfaction money-back guarantee. This scientific breakthrough will painlessly transform your appearance in one visit. The smile you've been waiting for will never cost less or look brighter than it will today. Call 801 801- Two five four zero eight three five, or visit gonewsmile.com. That's g o n u smile dot com to revitalize your smile. New smile, it looks good on you. Can't get enough defending Utah radio? Then follow us on Facebook and subscribe to Defending Utah's YouTube channel, defendingutah.org. Think right and wrong, not right and left. The United Nations says in order to stabilize world population, it is necessary to eliminate, that means kill, 350,000 people a day. The UN also says individual rights have to take a backseat to the collective and that your children are their children and that you must be disarmed. The UN Declaration on Human Rights says you have no rights the United Nations doesn't give you, and now they are coming to Utah to try and get our youth and our elected leaders to sign on to their extreme agenda. The state legislature even gave them 650000 of your taxpayer dollars. Tell Utah leaders you don't support the UN agenda, and neither should they. Go to UnitedNationsUtah.com right now and sign the petition. UnitedNationsUtah.com to tell Utah leaders no more United Nations agenda in Utah? That's unitednationsutah.com to sign the petition. Welcome back to Defending Utah Radio right here on K Talk AM 1640. I'm Ben McClintock with my co host here, Micah Turner. Yeah. And um, we've got our own att- state attorney general that is um, wanting to create a new. Uh, Big Brother program, instead of the NSA on the national scale, they wanted, they're like, you know what, the feds just aren't handling this enough. <laughs> we we got to do something to have complete and total surveillance of the people of Utah. And uh, this has, in fact, been going on for a while. I want to play this clip from a report we actually did about three years ago. And you can call this creepy. I call it creative uh, and complex, but we can keep track of everything you do as a consumer, and we are keeping track. And Okay, that was Vicki uh, Varela of the Governor's Office of Economic Development. I'm going to play that one more time for you. This is Vicki Varela, the Governor Herbert's uh, Office of Economic Development. And you can call this creepy... I call it creative uh, and complex, but we can keep track of everything you do as a consumer, and we are keeping track. So she says right there, this is in a state legislative committee hearing, that the state is keeping track of everything you do as a consumer. This isn't, you know, oh, defending Utah, you're so extreme, you know, that's just, they wouldn't do that. Well, no, I just, the, I just played what she said. The Board of Economic Control. I mean, development. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. One of those One of those true slips. My bad. One of those true <laughs> And so now you've got um, Sean Reyes' um, Attorney General Office coming out with a new program that he wants to spend $2.2 million a year for that would give law enforcement um, the ability in real time, next generation surveillance, that would combine public social media posts, traffic cameras... And other data, other, other, other you know, because other is a other. thing, data sources to decrease police response times and keep traffic flowing. So, <laughs> I mean, we just, we can just stick any number of words together, any, <laughs> any type of words together, and we just call it a sentence now. <laughs> that's just, that's it. That, that's how it works, right? That's how it works. We all know that if we yeah. can just, Micah, if we could just keep track of your social media posts, traffic would, would not be as bad as it is. 
And so your opposition to them tracking your social media posts means you want bad traffic because they're completely related. I just, I just lovely. <laughs> I don't, I just, I mean, how, what, who did, who wrote this tribune? The tribune, of course, Benjamin Wood. Okay. So anyone, I mean, did he write that or did, was that a quote? <laughs> No, that, he wrote that. That's what he, he wrote. Okay, so this guy... He's, any, he's giving a synopsis of the program. Yeah. So, like, basically anyone who understands, like, 10% of rhetoric at all, <laughs> like, how words are formed and, like, ideas are presented and can, like, perceive... Anyone who has 10%, when they read the first sent the first paragraph... Mm-hmm. That for, is that one sentence? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, a, it's a run-on sentence. sentence. When somebody reads that one sentence, they should go, oh, this guy's a piece of garbage. He, anything he says is not, means nothing because he can't even form ideas and put them together appropriately. <laughs> this is still like, what's this guy's name? Benjamin Wood. Yep. Benjamin Wood, you're a terrible person. <laughs> you have, I mean, I know... I know what's going on here. You have great... I I assume you probably have at least decent rhetoric skills, and which makes this even worse, <laughs> because you are nefariously putting these together. So, according to the Tribune, this, this new program would surveil you, and it's only for the purpose, of course, they have nothing... They do not want to track you for any other reason. They're just trying to make sure that traffic is under control. That's why, because that's, you know, the attorney general. That's why they want to know what you're doing on Facebook. The attorney Mm. general (laughs) is wanting to make sure that traffic is under control because that's the attorney general's job. Totally. And um, so, of course, then the legislature, there are several legislators um, that come out and say, no, this, you know, this is big brother. This is too much like North Korea. But. Those same lawmakers voted to give three point seven million dollars toward the project earlier in this year, <laughs> and so it, it it falls on deaf ears to me when they say that oh you know this is very concerning to us when they already funded the thing more than they already want so they want two point two million they've already invested three point seven million but of course the project this is one time funding and so you know if we don't continue the funding that this program is is, is you know going to go away oh that's terrible <laughs> it's so terrible and yeah. we wouldn't want to do that we've already invested almost 4 million dollars on this why would we want to throw away that money we got to continue this program we've got to keep on giving 2.2 million dollars to the attorney general to create this complete and total information awareness program for the attorney general's office otherwise we're going to have bad traffic people are going to die and it's our fault or we literally get into the attorney general. That'd be really funny. He's like driving around one of those like Google street cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sean Ray personally like, is driving around. In the- yeah, he's like Facebooking on the laptop that's mounted in the Prius, you know? <laughs> but, but what'd be funny is it's not self driving. And so he's like totally unsafe. Yeah. Doing all this. <laughs> and oh um, remember when that, uh, it was a couple years ago, that cop in California killed the guy who created Napster? Mm-hmm. Because he was Facebooking on his laptop, <laughs> and then the government didn't do anything to even like, like he got a paid vacation or something, and then he That's went back to work. Yeah. yeah, I mean the guy murdered somebody because he was Facebooking on his laptop. Well, you know, yeah. What and, you gonna do? Yeah, and then they yeah because yeah it's just I mean what are you, what are you gonna do? I mean you gotta like you gotta see what Sally is doing right now. <laughs> you know you gotta know you gotta know. Come on, we just got to be reasonable. Let's just talk about this. Yeah, let's just talk <laughs> let's about just this. Talk about I mean, should he, should he like maybe mount the laptop a little higher <laughs> so he can like see the road when he's facebooking? Yeah. Or maybe we should add like a feature where like you the blind thing on the cell phone where like you move a cursor over it and it talks to you and tells you what you're about to click on or something. Mm-hmm. These are all great questions. Conversation items. So, uh, um, um, a representative from the Department of Plans. Uh, transportation said one of the things that gets people concerned and and rightly so is the fact we're watching everything (laughs) fair enough fair enough fair enough okay now what does this bow say (laughs) it's just a tool for us to be able to respond quicker to be able to gather that information and actually have it as long as it's anonymized there's no threat to any sort of private information but they're looking at social media I mean, this is ridiculous. How can anyone read this crap? <laughs> I mean, I know what happens. That people are like, "Oh, okay," but like, I mean, you just—if that's you, you no, you need you need help. 
you need help understanding things. Well, uh, according to the Department of um, of Safety, um, you obviously hate children. Yeah. They said they, uh, they gave an example of a recent kidnapping sim- simulation. It was a simulation, so it didn't actually happen. A kidnapping sim- simulation. simulation. <laughs> oh, okay. The government simulated a kidnapping. I'm sure it worked out great. Organized by the Attorney General's office in coordination with local law enforcement agencies. In the simulated exercise, officers were able to identify the location of a missing child in eight hours because they were able to track everybody in the state's social media. Because, you know, the kidnapper was talking about on his Facebook page about where he was and about how he kidnapped this girl. And, you know, and so you you were totally able to help save the smoking gun, the child. And because of this, they they reached the, the conclusion because of the computer program they were able to track the social media and find the fake kidnapping victim in only 22 seconds. Because he was like, posted like a, he updated his status, <laughs> just totally kidnapped this little girl. And we're hiding in, in the garage in uh, Eagle Mountain. Yeah. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Or he's got like a selfie of him and. Hashtag some, between yeah. you and me. The kidnapped girl in the background. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, look what I got. (laughs) If we can find the information in a simulated kidnapping in 22 seconds and knock on the door in four minutes, we can rescue the child before there's trauma, before there's a murder. That doesn't even make sense. He just says that we found it in 22 seconds and four minutes, but he said it took eight hours. What? No, no, no. Okay, no, no. You need to follow. Okay. Okay, I'm not following. So they found the information in 22 seconds. Sorry, it's really hard to follow crap. (laughs) (laughs) So because... because of their total access to all of your social media, they were able to find out where the kidnapper was in 22 seconds, which then led them to be able to get to the kidnapper in four minutes. But didn't they say earlier that it took eight hours? It would have if it wasn't for their ability to have this total information awareness program. Have these people been to Walmart and seen all the missing kid photos? <laughs> I mean, I mean, have they? I mean... Okay. Right? No, because there's listen, a whole lot of they didn't find them in eight hour cases. <laughs> the the Department of Public Safety says this is what brings tears to my eyes. That's why I want to make a foray into this area. It's it's for the children. It's for the children. If you if you don't do this, you want kidnapped kids to stay kidnapped. You talked about Walmart. Yes, there are tons of children on the wall at Walmart still because you won't give up your privacy. It's your fault, Micah. Didn't uh, Arizona DCFS lose like 1,200 kids a 12, month? 12,000. 12,000 kids are lost, and year. they have no idea where they are. Yeah, last yeah, year. Last year. Just one year. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not even looking for them. So they lost like 1,000 kids a month. Yeah. Like, they just, they're just gone. Poof. Poof. Because... Are you talking about kidnapping? Let's just go over there and go ahead and start <laughs> arresting everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because they didn't have access to, to your social media. Come on. You gotta give the government more information, otherwise oh, yeah. the kids They can't even keep track of who they give the kids to. How can they keep track of where, <laughs> where the kids get to? <laughs> <laughs> of course, probably something more nefarious than that happened. And of course. But you know, we we've got nothing to worry about here, according to Vicky Varelia. Yeah, of the, you can the call this of economic creepy. development. These are the kind I of call people it creative, uh that want to know everything you're doing. But we can keep track of everything you do as a kids. consumer. And we are keeping track. And so if you take your uh, walk into a ski shop uh, and you have your cell phone with you, uh, we know you've been in that ski shop. Boom. So what more information do they need? They're already watching you, what you're doing consumer-wise. They're like, okay, we're, we're, we know what you're doing shopping. Um, now we need to have total, we need to have more money so that the government can watch everybody's social media. I think they want to know what you're doing in the shower, what you're doing on the toilet. You'd think it'd be cheaper for the state to violate your Fourth and Fifth Amendment rights <laughs> because that's what we're talking about, economic value. We're not talking about actually, like, obeying the Constitution. Let's, yeah. let's just keep this on to, you know, the economic factors here. It'd be cheaper just to sub uh, – what's it called? To subcontract through the NSA. Just have a contract with them. They're already doing it. Why wh- – why why reinvent the wheel? Just pay pay the NSA 1.2 million, you know, save a million bucks <laughs> and get it the same thing done. Great. Let's save money. Great, Pad. It's <laughs> a good idea. Cuz that's what matters. <laughs> good. 
that's Sean Reyes for you. And uh, so we've got we're heading into a break here. Let's find out more about what's going on about the uh, uh, yeah these apps that they're using to actually that you are using. We talked about this before with the uh, Unified Police Department, where you're voluntarily allowing them to access your phone at any time because you're a fool. <laughs> And uh, much, much more, but also I want to make sure that you remember to download the Defending Utah app onto your Android device. That way you're getting all of the up-to-date uh, programs and reports that we put out on a regular basis. If you've missed uh, past programs, you can go back and listen to them archived, as as well as um, reports that we do that aren't on uh, the radio, and uh, and much, much more. So make sure you do that. Also, make sure you're going to... United Nations at Utah.com. That's United Nations at Utah.com to be kept up to date. Next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we are going to be at the United Nations Conference covering that completely, um, the events that they're going to be doing there, and uh, covering the uh, the programs. Also, um, getting material to youth to help them understand the truth about what's going on. If you want to be a help to that and help expose what's going on, go to DefendingUtah.org and donate, and that will help us to be able to put out more materials, more billboards, and uh, the things that we can do to be able to uh, magnify our voice throughout the area to be able to have an influence on uh, policymakers as well as um, the future with the children that are going to be there. They need to have this debunked because these are Utah students that are getting this. And we're going to be reporting um, live on uh, our Facebook and YouTube channels, Defending Utah, as well as doing uh, breaking into programming here on KTALK next week. So make sure you're tuning in and letting others know about what's going on and that they can tune into K-Talk as well so they can be kept up to date. Um, and But just check out the reports at DefendingUtah.org uh, and make sure and download the Defending Utah app onto your phone. This Defending Utah presentation brought to you in part by Anderson Accounting, AndersonAccounting.com, Trust Plumbing, 801-808-5470, Higher Calling Firearms, HigherCallingFirearms.com, Pioneer Family Scholars, Black Lotus Web Dev, BlackLotusWebDev.com, American Appliance at 801-254-2566, Shem Financial Services, 801-856-6151, and the Law Offices of Garrett T. Smith, 801-477-1570, and the Water of Champions at ChampionsNeverQuit.org. It's a fact. More photos of you are being taken than ever before. Are you ashamed of your smile? At last, a new technology that gives a brighter and healthier smile in under two hours. And it's fully warranted, so you'll never have to worry about your smile again. Call Dr. Jeremy Thompson at Thompson Dental, 801-254-0835. Or visit GoNewSmile.com, and we'll show you how you can restore your faded, yellowed, or worn teeth without surgery, crowns, or implants. And it's backed by a 30-day, 100% satisfaction money-back guarantee. This scientific breakthrough will painlessly transform your appearance in one visit. The smile you've been waiting for will never cost less or look brighter than it will today. Call 801-254-0835 or visit GoNewSmile.com. That's G-O-N-U-Smile.com to revitalize your smile. New smile. It looks good on you.